Alright, so given that I've been pinged about this issue maybe like five times in the last seven days, uh, I thought I'd make a video on it. So there's an issue regarding like infinity-based light effects right now. So there's this effect on this chain right here. This one doesn't use anything apart from like just lightweight. Uh, and there are a bunch of effects that come before it that all use infinity. They look like this. The problem is, when you play them, it breaks this regular effect. And you can see it's still trying to output something over here, but it just doesn't display. And if you stop, that's the only way you can get this to show again. So if you do like four, you get this kind of glitch. You do like five of them, you get this kind of glitch. You do like six, you get this. And you do all seven, and then you get nothing. Uh, so if you actually look at what comes out of this lightweight on the key, uh, you can see it's actually trying to output the whole effect. But it's just, yeah, it just doesn't for some reason. It, it just doesn't. It just doesn't go out. If I put another media effect rack here to just like inspect what's happening, there's no output. If I stop, there is output now. If I do only four or like five, it only like does it for the lower region. It's it's stupid. I don't know why they broke this and how they broke this. Uh, so if you're looking for a workaround, uh, you should take the effects that use infinity, and you should add a depth selector basically. So you take a selector and you put it after infinity, and then you have a mixer, and that like bypasses, that essentially bypasses the output. Because the issue, I think, is in how the MIDI effect rack uh, handles processing this. Uh, this is the only workaround right now, to my knowledge. So once you do all that, and you stop, um, now when you do this, this effect will work fine. So that's how you work around this. It's kind of cringe, but it is what it is. And also, this is not an issue with like any of my Max for Live devices, because if I um, if I load this uh, minimal repro that I made, uh, th so I made a repro of it that like doesn't use uh, any Max for Live devices at all. It only uses like pitch chord and uh, velocity and like uh, a maxed out note length to simulate a note going infinite. Uh, the bug still happens, so I'm pretty sure this is just something Ableton fucked up, and there's like not much I can do about it. So, here. So, these ones are very similar to the ones in that project, and they all consist solely of like velocities and chords, and at the end there's like a note length which like simulates it going infinite. And uh, at the end, I have this just like a block of orange. That's it. So, if I do three block is fine, if I do 4, the block is still fine, if I do 5, the block does that, and it's not supposed to do that because the block is literally just a 4x8 box of chord. So you do 6, you get this weird shape, you do 7, you get nothing. So what I think happens uh, in this case is literally it like depends on like which notes get sent out first at some point it just like stops like caring about the notes it received i don't fucking know it's weird the only fix is with like the depth selector and mixer uh please use 10.0.1 because it's the best version this is a bug in live 11 so yeah there you go goodbye